Installation Procedure of Refrigeration System in Cold Room A good installation is one of the best means of enjoying trouble-free performance. At Blue Cold, we endeavor to assist you for correct and successful installation procedure of refrigeration system in your cold room for the trouble-free operations. Installation Procedure 1. Avoid material entering into the system while cutting tubes. 2. The pipe thickness of interconnecting pipes should be equal to the condensing unit suction and liquid line. 3. Insulate the liquid line if there is two-stage compressor in condensing unit. 4. Clamp the interconnecting pipes in a distance of every 1 meter. 5. Ensure nitrogen flow in the system at the time of brazing to avoid deposit of carbon inside the pipeline. 6. Pressurize and leak test the entire refrigeration system including the condensing unit, evaporator, all connected tubing and fittings. 7. Add 100 ml of refrigerant oil in the system multiplied by the number of U-traps given in the interconnected piping. 8. Recommended piping as per evaporator positioning. A. If condensing unit is at lower level from evaporator. Give one U-trap on the suction line immediately coming out from evaporator. B. If condensing unit is at upper level from evaporator, give U-traps one near the suction line of condensing unit and one near the evaporator. C. If condensing unit is at upper level from evaporator and piping distance is more than 3 meter, give U-traps at a distance of every 3 to 5 meters in suction line of interconnected pipes. Refrigerant Charging Method 1. The compressor is supplied with oil. Check the oil line mark in compressor. 2. Create the vacuum from both liquid line and suction line. 3. Never start the compressor in vacuum conditions. 4. Always charge the refrigerant from liquid receiver in condensing unit. 5. Gas must be charged into the system in their liquid state only. 6. During the process of vacuuming the system and gas charging, open the liquid solenoid valve. 7. Switch on the crankcase heater 3 hours before starting the compressor when you are starting the unit first time. Condensate drain line 1. Thickness of drain line pipe should be at least as large as the evaporator drain connection. 2. It is recommended that the drain line be insulated to prevent heat loss. 3. Traps on low temperature units must be outside of refrigerated enclosures. By now, you must have known the correct procedure of installation of refrigeration systems in a cold room. Blue Cold wishes you good luck for successful installation of your cold room. For more details, visit our website www.bluecoldref.com or write to us at sales at bluecoldref.com.